with me. Maybe then you'll see my harnesses and my nets. Hey, catching trouble, you and me. Catching trouble, the baby you can see. Catching trouble, the baby have kids or three. Catching trouble. Hello, everybody. This is Ted Husing, and I'm very happy to again present Sportlight's good friend, Ross Allen. Hi, Ross. Ross. modern Tarzan. Oh, he's going to Leading his headquarters, mm-hmm. headed for the mysterious and fascinating Everglades, where he will pick up his faithful Seminole Indian guide to mm-hmm. aid him in catching a bag of trouble. Ross also plays the part of Little Abner in Summer Theater. Well, he's a Foley artist in the off-season. In a log dugout canoe, they head into the swamp country. Do not bring your evil His here. His daily job is catching live animals and reptiles for the zoo. But at night he does stray sand at the bubble room on Captiva. Alligators and whatnot. Well, this is a different assignment, and a true depiction of actually filling an order he recently received. It Kill read, Colonel Kurtz. immediately one live bobcat, two cub black bears, and three six-foot diamondback rattlers. And two hard-boiled a nice eggs. Huh? In the morning I three hard-boiled eggs. They leave the dugout and go into the glades afoot. With Emo Phillips in a dress. I was wondering if maybe I could follow you into the woods and maybe we could see some animals. Now, folks, this has all been leveled and turned into a golf course. Wildcat, you go that way. Wildcat, I think I love you, but I want to know for sure. Well, the cat's away. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. A lens problem there. Huh? High and dry, but not as safe as an alley cat. <laughs> it's a little joke for me, Ted Husing, in the booth. Stay there, Wildcat. You'll soon be coming down. Ross is no actor, well, as Bob you can see. Is coming down. Talk him down, Emo. Oops. That's one tree he won't climb again. He lands on all four feet and goes to town. But Ross keeps his eye on him, and he's right on his heels. Bye. You know, Ross is no stranger to raping the land. <laughs> hey, Mr. Cat, you can't do that. Don't you know you're wanted in Chicago? For voting twice. <laughs> Up he goes, and so goes Ross. That's a bad limb. Hop to the next one, pussy. Hey! <laughs> Talking about the Well, this cat. is where my boyfriend knows his stuff. Hey, if Ted, you, think you don't have to, to say anything more, Ted. Fighting 35-pound wildcat into a flower bag as you balance yourself on a limb is child's play. Oh, you've got another guest. Oh, coming. boy. Yeah, yowza. Yes, sir. What a matoo. Oh, ho, ho. 23 is canoe. Oh. Well, he's in the bag. And so am I, Ted Husing. He's yes, go for it! Yes, yes, go, yes! The cat escapes north through the Underground Railroad. And he just ripped a hunk of skin off his inner thigh. Say, you made a mistake picking that tree. I'm afraid you're out of luck this time. Ah, bite me. I will prevail. Mine is a noble race. Put some salt on his tail, Mr. Allen, and don't take any more feline back talk. Well, that's don't. nice. Well, it's in the bag, and so Ross Allen fills one-third of his day's orders. What's next? Hurting the people you know and love? Chasing rabbits on a minibike until their hearts explode? Order number two was soon at hand, and he was ready. Shh, wait, I hear something living. Bear cubs can't mess you up much, but they can scratch with feeling or take off a couple of fingers if you're not careful. So beat him savagely. And while Ross approaches the young Bruin, old Sourpuss keeps his eyes peeled for trouble. Now if he can catch him by that loose skin on the back, he's okay. (laughs) Get away! away, And a flying tackle blocks the touchdown, but he's up and off again. He's away. Catch him, Ross. Don't let that little fella get away. Come on, step on it. Man, would I love to see that Cubs mom come through the woods right now. Mm -hmm. About six months old. I'm going to get that brother of yours up the street. So it's Ross 2, Everglades nothing. Throw him down a few times, Ross. What are you, scared? Come on, beat him up. I got him. Hey, look, it's Alice B. Toklo. There's another one back there. Gotta go get him. I take him on in. Uh-huh. Hey, and crack a window in the canoe, Emo. Now, my advice as a big game hunter is for one of you to get out of that tree. I know he's a little bear, but unless you do not choose to run, Ross, you better get a ground and make him jump. Nah. Well, it's a cinch for me to give advice. Is that a bear or a monkey? Who are you talking about, Ted? 
Oh. Joel, do they do this on our... Isn't this wrong? Yeah, guys, I'm deeply ashamed of my race right now, okay? Deservedly so. Yeah, there's nothing like exerting your power over helpless creatures, is there, Ross? This is what With you get for not being a white male. Left, the black twins are tied in camp. Ross tries to towel away the evil, but nothing doing. Next, he's going on a panda raid. Mm. We've got time to get those rattlesnakes. They seem to be all right. Take this back. Yeah, whatever. Let's Just go. give me the bag. Right. You're a cute guy. Hmm. Mischievous youngsters, these twins. <laughs> oh, they'd be swell playmates for your youngster. Oh, yeah? You like mauled kids. Oh, they upset Grizzly at him. Stash there, look. Wait a minute, Greg, hold it. They want us to do this. Ross locates reptiles by finding their Greg. tracks in the sand. This means business. Slash and burn is the best way to catch these little critters. Hey, here's his shed. Two sheds? He, he must be in here. I'm going around here and build a fire and make a smoke to scare him out. You stay here. Uh, really good read, Ross. <laughs> Rattlers seek the dark coolness of the palmetto bushes, oh, but don't smoke we drives them out into the open. Sure, the fire kills others, Ooh. but they're acceptable losses. King of the Everglades, six feet of deadly diamond back, enough to scare you out of your skin. But let's not forget who the real evil serpent is. Mm -hmm. This is Ross's profession, and I know he didn't learn that in college. No, he didn't even get out of the fifth grade. But I kid, Ross. <laughs> a shivering thrill is the slow motion of his strike. True. But my boyfriend knows when to side. Hey, he says he likes you as a friend, but he's not your boyfriend, okay? Come on, Ross, get a life. Put him away, Ross, before he changes his mind and crawls into our camera case. You hear those rattlers rattling? Oh. Now it's off to Neiman Marcus to become a Paloma Picasso handbag. <gasps> Old Sourpuss certainly has a sense of humor, eh, what? Hey, what? You Terry Thomas all of a sudden? And some more rattling good fun. Must we go on? No, no, no please. Oh, no, yes, no, no, the order no. called for three. Sorry to annoy you folks, but we need this cute little fellow. Get him, Close snake, get him. Snake, 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 snake. Go, snake. Tell oh. me when he's in the bag, Ross. I can't look. I'm in the now bag, Ross. Now you've got a Ross. boatload of live cargo, a wild cat, three six-foot rattlers, and a couple of little teddy bears. It seems to me I'd call it a day or call a taxi or, or call PETA. Mm -hmm. Well, that's a day's work for any of us, and I think you deserve a rest. And let's leave Emo behind. Get out of there. Hey, look out. He's going to jump. Swim, Pepe. Yes. Swim. Go. Fly away. Sorry I spoke. I thought you were all finished. Hmm? Well, it's easy to pick catching a bear underwater. Oh, there just happened to be that's a camera under the water. Well, yeah. uh, Wet your appetite. Come on, Ross, drown him. He won't try it again. That little rascal is a swimming fool. Oh. Oh. That about okay. winds up things, and with a break of luck, he and his Seminole were back at headquarters to make ready their order for shipping, little caring what tomorrow's mail would ask for. Welcome to the penal colony of French Guiana. Take these, Cub. Give me some milk. Uh, be careful. They've been a lot of trouble. Uh, we Watch just like to him. apologize to everyone everywhere for this. Yeah. Be it ever so humble, there's no place like home. Any animal caught in the wild spends a night in the box. Oh, here we watch. Ross, put a jimmy stick under its nails. What's, what's he doing? No. Why couldn't he just throw in the bag of snakes in there? Oh, hurry up, Ross. I'll be dreaming of those cute, darling, coy, lovable little playmates of yours all night. And the snakes, too. Please feed us! Oh, thank you! Hey, I hear you, friends. Well, Ross, you can catch more trouble than any man well, I know. Well, Ross, we're out of here, here, personally. We're disgusted. Like I am offended again. deeply. I know.